chemistry blossoming from dark schemes, partners in crime that were also partners in passion despite the odds? Was Ed Westwick and Leighton Meester's relationship just professional, or was it personal? And how did fate play a part? For as long as the original Gossip Girl was on the air, Leighton Meester and Ed Westwick delighted fans as star-crossed lovers Blair Waldorf and Chuck Bass. Chuck and Blair's on-again, off-again romance kept viewers glued to their screens thanks to wild schemes, royal romances, and scandalous affairs. So it should come as no surprise that Gossip Girl fans want to know if that same flirty dynamic played out between the actors on set. In February 2022, Westwick appeared on fellow Gossip Girl alum Jessica Zor's podcast to talk about his time on the show. Needless to say, his relationship with on-screen love interest Meester came up during the chat, with Westwick noting that they had great chemistry. The actor explained, We used to make each other laugh, and I felt protective over her at times. This revelation is far from new. In 2016, Gossip Girl co-creator Josh Schwartz told Vulture, You get an actor like Ed Westwick and see the chemistry he had with Leighton Meester, and their scenes just crackled. In fact, the chemistry between Westwick and Meester changed the entire trajectory of the show. As Chuck Bass was initially the villain of the piece, Schwartz and his co-writers used the connection between the actors as a jumping-off point to explore new ideas not present in the Gossip Girl source novels. Schwartz added, Here are two people who are bonded by their mutual scheming and the dark side of the show, and that would naturally evolve into a romantic relationship. They came into the show as very different kinds of roles, but the chemistry between them took over. While Gossip Girl came to an end in 2012, Blair and Chuck's impact on pop culture lives on. As a result, it's probably no surprise that Westwick has been very forthcoming about his admiration for his former co-star. However, that's not to say that any chemistry between the pair should hint at a romantic encounter. As Westwick explained to Zor, Meester found a vulnerability in that character that made it very easy for my character to fall in love with. I'm not saying I was in love with Leighton, but it never felt forced. I know you told Serena you love me. Meester seems to agree revealing in a 2013 interview that their relationship was deeply fulfilling, but strictly professional. As Meester told The K Magazine, Ed is such a great person to work with, always so funny but with such talent that it makes it enjoyable to be around him. It would also appear as though Westwick's feelings about Meester only evolved throughout Gossip Girl. For instance, back in a January 2012 interview with E! News, Westwick revealed, I'm madly in love with Leighton, so that's what helps on my behalf. Maybe so much that she doesn't even have to be in love with me. I love enough. She's mine. We've got the right pairing, I guess. During a Q&A session at Monopoly Events Comic Con in Liverpool in 2021, Westwick again fielded questions about the exact nature of his relationship with Meester. The actor suggested that some of Chuck Bass's adoration for Blair Waldorf seeped into his heart as affection for his co-star, saying, It's hard not to fall in love with Leighton. Like, have a part of me fall in love with her, you know? She's amazing. But I need to let you go. However, as fate would have it, Meester reportedly would meet her future husband, Adam Brody, around the same time she met Westwick. According to the Unqualified podcast, Gossip Girl co-creator Josh Schwartz took the cast of the show out for a meal in Los Angeles in 2007. It was then that they apparently ran into Brody, star of Schwartz's other show, The O.C. Meester and Brody would later work together on the film The Oranges in 2011. Reports surfaced that the pair started dating in 2013 and tied the knot less than a year later in February 2014. The wedding was reportedly a surprise, low-key affair, and so few people knew about it beforehand, including Westwick. In March 2014, the actor revealed that when he found out his old co-worker got married, he sent a text of congratulations. Despite seemingly having mixed feelings about the matter, he explained to Us Weekly, It's not my life. I love her. I think she's fantastic. And she's a good friend of mine. And whatever she does, I wish her all the best. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.